coastline is the country's border. It's the place where invaders would attack and armies would set sail. All along the southwest coast path, you'll find the scars of war. In the days when Britannia ruled the waves, the firepower that made it possible set sail from places all along the southwest coast path. And this would have been the front line of defence from invaders. Today, one of the pleasures of walking the coast path is discovering the evidence behind its dramatic past. So we're here at Dartmouth Castle. Tell me a little bit more about it. OK. Well, since the medieval period, uh, the harbour here has been of great importance for, for commerce. Uh, and so during the medieval period, it was important to defend Dartmouth as a, as a, a trading port from the earliest medieval uh, purpose-built artillery fortifications uh, over in the, the fort below the, the church behind us, right through to Victorian fortifications such as the blockhouse beyond the ticket office here, uh, and World War II defences. This white crenellated yeah. ticket office is in fact uh, a Second World War gun position uh, built in 1940. Keep your eyes peeled and anywhere along the coast path you're likely to see evidence of its military past. On the coast path you can also see uh, many uh, fortifications dating to the uh, French Revolutionary and Napoleonic Wars that's from the 1780s through to the early 1800s uh, and these will range from um, major artillery forts such as Berry Head in, in Tor Bay. But it isn't only the signs of defence you can find along the coast path. The coast of Devon and Cornwall were also a springboard for invasion uh, and have particularly strong associations with the D-Day landings. Many of the ports of the southwest, from Poole in Dorset, through uh, Dartmouth and Salcombe in South Devon, through to Falmouth in Cornwall, uh, were used as the points of invasion for the US armies that landed in Omaha and Utah in June 1944. At uh, Slapton you can see uh, a tank, a reminder to everyone of the, the sacrifice and made by Allied forces, particularly the Americans, uh, during the D-Day campaign and in its build-up. Also in South Devon, the footpath drops down to the historic port of Brixham. Brixham has uh, associations with the, the glorious revolution of 1689, when one of the few successful invasions of uh, Britain took place, with uh, William of Orange and his Protestant army landing uh, in Tor Bay, uh, and William and his wife Mary became the next monarchs of England. So what are you waiting for? The South West Coast Path is waiting for you to start your voyage of discovery. You'll find more information about the Coast Path's military past on our website. Happy walking!